few minutes. Okay, I know you have a long day. We don't want to um, have you waiting. Um, just a quick question. I want to know how well do you know your hymns? Do you think you know all the hymns to the United Methodists? Good. Then everybody has a hymn. Have you filed your taxes yet? Do you know the IRS have a hymn? What is the hymn for the IRS? I surrender all. The electrician also have a... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the electrician, electrician also have a hymn. What do you think is it? Send the light. The golfer's hymn. There's a green hill far away. And the gossiper's hymn. Pass it on. All right, that's just a few. You also have some hymns for those of you who drive. 55 miles an hour, God will take care of you. 75 miles an hour, nearer my God to thee. 85 miles an hour, this world is not my home. 95 miles an hour, Lord, I'm coming home. And 100 miles an hour, precious memories. Call to worship. Please stand for the call to worship. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is here, O Israel, the Lord of God, the Lord is one, and thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. Your response? The second is this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write these laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Our processional hymn, Praise to the Lord the Almighty, United Methodist Hymnal 139.
Amen. We now have the pro pro procession of hymns, of um, flags. So we go to the back, and you will process with your flags. Don't worry, the rallies doesn't begin yet. Bring your flags to the back. Cynthia, give him um, Cynthia, I don't give him. You see Cynthia dancing up there. <laughs> so we process and then the rally, rally will start. <laughs> no, right now we just go up and then when you come with the group, then and you have a group, who have a group. You come back, guys. After the procession, you come back down the rally and start it. So when we call the groups for the rally, they're going to play an anthem from each section before you come up. Okay? You understand? I'll give directions. Follow me. Can we have some music, please? Real music. Something we can dance to. now please I 
છે સેન્ચુરી Praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And so we're going to go to God in grace and in prayer to give him thanks for this wonderful and awesome day so far. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us. mold us fill us spirit of the living god fall afresh on us most righteous and everlasting god you are our provider you are our protector what a privilege it is this afternoon oh god and we can come to you again one more time to give you thanks and praise for your loving kindness and your tender mercies to give you thanks father god because there's none other but you oh god we want to thank you that in you we live we move and have our being hallelujah we thank you father god for giving us this day and so lord as we continue this afternoon lord to praise you and to give you thanks for having given us the strength father god to work in your vineyard We ask their God in divine mercy that you bless each one this mo- this this even dear God. Bless us Father God abundantly. We pray Father God for this service Lord that you be in the midst. We can feel your presence Lord because we know you are here. And so Lord I want to thank you once more because you are God and there's none other. You are Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end. And so God you said in your words Lord that we call upon you and ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you and today Father God we are asking and we are seeking we pray for God for this church hallelujah Jesus we ask Father God that you will continue to bless us Lord abundantly we pray Father God for every ministry hallelujah Jesus in this church Father God, we pray for our minister, Pastor Kasika and his family. We con- Lord, pray that you continue, Lord, to show him, Lord, with blessing. We all pray, God, that you continue to surround him, Lord Jesus. Surround him with your angels, Lord. Give him, Father God, all that he needs, oh God. And Lord Jesus, as we are about to begin our service, we ask that you take full control. We ask Father God for whatever Lord each team and each one Lord are going to be presented to do. We know it comes from you and everything belongs to you. So Father God, I want to bless Lord this service. The blesses the giver, blesses the receiver. Return to the giver, bless and multiply a thousand fold and we say thanks in Jesus name. Amen. Sister Carol, will do the welcome for us. Good afternoon one and all. It's a great pleasure to see so many of you return to have our first event. Our first event for coming out of the pandemic. Because you know we're still in it, but we still have to be cautious of where we go and what we do. So it's always a pleasure when we gather to worship for each other and to praise God. We have a wonderful program in store for you all today. So you will not be sorry that you stayed the whole day with us. You will be full of praise and joy. So once again, I welcome each and every one today and this is just the beginning of our ongoing events for the upcoming season. So 
Be blessed and stay happy in Jesus' name. We have the praise and worship team. At this. You're not, you're not on the program. When, when we come up, we're not finished yet. Sin is coming up just now. Okay, the second group. The second group. This is back here, so we gotta stop there. It's there, go ahead. Oh. So we're going to take it up a notch now. And we are just going to be singing hymns as the spirit as the, as the spirit flows because we don't have a plan a program this afternoon for prayer songs. But as the spirit feeds us, we go with them. Amen. Hallelujah. Go there, go there. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Now for the rally. When I call your country or island or state, whatever it is, you will stand in the back with your flag and I will give you directions when to come up. Okay? Rally A. Antigua Barbuda. No one from Antigua? Oh, okay. Aruba? Take your flag and go to the back. Aruba? Costa Rica? Now, I know you're from Costa Rica. <laughs> Dominica? Guyana, a lot of Guyanese in here. Okay, Miss Fisher. <laughs> India. I think India is in India right now. Mozambique. Take your flag and go to the back. If you don't have a flag, borrow one. Because <laughs> all the flags belong to you. In Jesus' name. Philippines, St. Martin, Anguilla, and St. Lucia. Okay, just wait there and um, George will be doing something for you guys, okay? And I'll tell you when to come up. You're shipping.
praise the Lord. So those are the anthems by Group A, led by Shelley Simon. Antigua, Barbuda, keep marching. Play something, steel band. Aruba, Costa Rica, Dominica, Guyana, India, Mozambique, Philippines, St. Martin, Anguilla, and St. Lucia. That's Group A, led by Shelley Simon. Hello everyone, on behalf of the A-Team, this little group here, Mozambique, Pastor and his family, Guyana, Shelley, Norma, Costa Rica, Eloise, Costa Rica, and Osna Smith, Guyana. We raised, the money that we raised is $4,102. <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and to participate. At this time, we have a selection by the Apostolic Voices. Welcome them, please. Test one. Good evening, good evening. Yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know. Jesus' blood can make the 
Celebrate with you on your anniversary. So, this song dedicated. Another year? Sing. I just want to take this time out to thank God. Stole up on me. As I look back over my life and see where he brought me from, and truly say that I've been blessed. This morning, got out of my bed. I looked around, but I said, Thank you, Lord, for the blood you shed. You put the roof up above my Thank you, Lord, for another day. All these blessings, I could have been in some lonesome grave. But you told him to get back and behave. Another blessing, another blessing. Who we? Another blessing, another blessing. Who we? Another blessing, another blessing. Who we? Another blessing, another blessing. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, no, no. Begging. 
I can count on God, He won't let me down. Always do what He said. Pain and suffering brought me through. Arms wide open, I know He'll welcome you. I've been blessed in so many ways. That's why I'm gonna lift my hands and Another blessing, 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 I can breathe. As I look around, I can see all these blessings He's given to me. Another blessing. Bless my family. Doing fine. Another blessing. Gave me peace. He gave me peace of mind. Another yes, He did. Thank God. Thank God. Another blessing. Another blessing. Thank God. Thank God. Another blessing. Another blessing. Thank God. Thank God, another bless, another bless, thank God, yeah, thank God, another bless, another bless, thank you, Lord, thank God, one more day, another bless, thank you, Lord, thank you, God, another bless, thank God, another bless, I haven't always done like I should, another bless, thank God, thank God, another bless, another bless. Blessing. Oh, thank God. Another blessing. Another blessing. I just wanna thank you. Thank I just wanna thank another you. Blessing. I just wanna thank, thank you. God. I just wanna thank another you. Blessing. Woo woo we. Another blessing. Another blessing. Woo woo we. Another blessing. Woo we. Another blessing. Woo woo. Another blessing, another blessing, another blessing, another blessing, another blessing, Now we're going to leave Brother Richard. Wow. They're leaving me by myself. <laughs> okay. It seems to well go up by itself, you know. Um, it's your anniversary. And we know that God is able to keep you in everything that you do. I am here because he kept me. A couple of weeks ago, these guys were going around with a stool for me to sit on because I couldn't stand. But he kept me. Like parents through a window blurred with rain, emotions run together in a flood of doubt and shame. We prayed as best we can, but we must leave it in His hand. Yet I know when my eyes fail to see He is able Hallelujah. And even though it seems 
impossible to me. He is able. But if he chooses not to move in a way we prayed he was, a confident he's working all together for my good. And I can stand behind his word, for he is able. Question seems to haunt you night and day. How could God know how to be torn this way? Does He listen when you call? Or is He even there at all? Yet I know when my heart fails to see, He is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, He is able. Not to move in a way we prayed he would. Be confident he's working all together for my good. And I will stand behind his word for he. Dawning and evaporates away, I can stand to face another day. Yet I stand behind His word for His What a lovely evening we have today. The sun is shining. And you're back here. You look so beautiful in the audience there. All the different colors. You know you represent all the flags in here. Yeah, every color, every dress, every shirt. That's great. We're going to continue with the Rally of the Nations. And Group B is led by Shirley Fleming. Billy's. Take your flag to the back, Billy's. Grenada. Haiti. Honduras. Panama. And me, St. Vincent and the Grenadines.
Shirley Fleming, we have Belize, Haiti, Grenada, Honduras, Panama, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. St. Vincent lands so beautiful with joyful hearts we pledge to be a royalty and love and Christ will keep you ever free. Amen. Okay. All right, Shirley. Um, good afternoon to everyone. On behalf of Group B, including all my neighbors here, we collected $565. That's okay. That will pay a bill. It doesn't sound much, but it will cover a bill. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> praise team, songs of praise, one more time.
led by Carol Richards. Barbados. That's okay. Barbados in the back with your flag. Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago. That's a big group. St. Kitts Davis. St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. And the United States of America.
Jamaica always large. Anywhere you go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Carol? Good afternoon again. It was a pleasure to see everyone stay here. We are a pretty big group here. 
I hope our money is pretty good big too. So let's start. <laughs> let me stand back and let you know that on behalf of all the different countries that we presented here this afternoon, we have collected thus far, I'm still waiting on the remainder. <laughs> this is group C, the last group. And the ones who haven't bring it in yet, I'm still waiting. But right now, we collected 4,300. Okay, we have an, another contribution here from my sister here, going on behalf of his a family. A family group C, Jamaica group. Oh, one thousand. One thousand dollars. So, so now, so yeah, so. So far, the group has $5,300. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Praise the Lord. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. If you close your hands, nothing going out, nothing coming in. You have to open your hands and then you will receive. Amen. 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 Okay, Maria, I heard you. All right, settle down. Because this is a very important moment. More money from you. Now is the offering time. So the audience is going to sing that song. The more you give, the more you get. The more gods love you. All right, and your pastor will love you too. Even more when you give. Okay? <laughs> so we're going to sing the offering song.
Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, unto you with all that we have, all that you have given us, just a portion of it. Receive it, Lord, and bless it, Lord. Your word says, blessed is the hand that gives more than the hand that receives. In the middle of our struggles and financial challenges, our family and personal problems, we have joy to come to your house, spend the entire day, give you the entire Sunday, from morning to evening, worshiping you and celebrating you. Receive now, O oh God, and bless the gifts that have come out of the pockets, out of the bank accounts of your children. Multiply them. Enable your children to have a lot more than what they have spent on you and on your ministries. Bless the organizers. Bless all the leadership that have played a crucial role to bring this celebration possible. We offer all of this as a sign of our gratitude unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. We may be seated. Let's welcome our dance ministry. Put your hand together.
So we have come to the end of this wonderful evening. Wish it never ends. You can clap. <laughs> clap me, clap, clap. I just want to thank each and every one of you for your presence. We couldn't have done this without you. And we appreciate and thank you for coming. We want to especially thank Cynthia, Shirley, and Carol for putting that team together. They work very well with the team. Thank the Apostolic Voices for their presence and gracing us with their songs. Our praise dancers, keep dancing for Jesus. Our musician, don't forget my steel band. I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but thank you for coming. Okay. All you members, church family, thank you very much for being here. And um, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. You could have been home lying down watching TV, but you choose to be here in God's house. And that's an extra blessing. So thank you very much. And um, after the closing prayer, you will be recessing with your flags. Okay, so get your flags together. So thank you once again and um, continue to serve the Lord. We'll now have our Pastor Kisiko to close us out. All the time. All the time. Pharaoh's mind. Okay, all right. Oh my God. <laughs> what a day. What a <laughs> This was, was a wonderful day. Long but filled with blessings. Now, let me invite the organizers of this big event to come join me up here as we prepare for the blessing. The organizers, please come join me. One on my left and another on my right. Yeah, uh, uh, Where's the lay leader? Where's the lay leader? The lay leader, where are you? Yes, lay leader, come join me with the organizers. The organizers. Now, I need, I need, I need these, uh, these winners. Who, who, who won the first place so far? <laughs> the first place. Um, group C. Who's the leader? Group C beat us all. Group C beat us all. Beat, uh, uh, who's the leader of Group C? Sister. Yeah, yeah, Sister, Sister Carol, Carol Richards. Richards. She is the winner of this day. <laughs> now, in the second place is my friend Shelly. Where is she? Group A. Come, 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 come here. Come here. You are the winner. The second place. Uh, second place. D this is gold. D this is silver. <laughs> come, come. Stand on my right side. Now, where, where does the, the, the bronze go? Group C. Sister Fleming is the leader. Come, come, come. We are all winners today. Come. Oh, my God. Lord Jesus. <laughs> come all the way to my left, on the left side of the lay leader. All the groups have won. We have... Uh, Five thousand dollars and change. Give it up for Sister Carol. <laughs> we have four thousand dollars and change. Come on. <laughs> and we have five hundred dollars and change. Give it up. <laughs> That's just because most of the people were traveling of Group B, and others were late to hand on the money to her so when she collects all her money and when everybody uh, Carol collects all her money and Shirley collects all her money they will tell us I will tell you at that time who, how, how are the golds and uh, silver and bronze go uh, 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 any Sunday I will give you the updates 
If I forget, remind me. Amen? Amen. Can you see what's happening here? I mean, this is not about competition for, for uh, who gives more or what. This is about competition to save our church. Yes. Amen? Yes. We want to save this building. And we want to keep this building and this congregation in this place. I am a United Methodist elder. And I have seen a lot. A lot of what is happening. They are shutting down the churches. Because the churches, especially the churches in the immigrant communities, the churches in the black communities, we cannot afford to keep up these huge temples that we inherited. We didn't build this. We inherited. The cost to keep these huge facilities? Oh my God. You have no idea. If you have time, and when you have time, give our treasurer a call. Ask her how much money we owe to the electrical company, to the water company, water and sewage company, how much money we owe to the insurance, because we can't be allowed to function and be open in New York without insurance for these buildings. The insurance bill alone is 77000 plus, just for 12 months. And each year they keep adding, they keep adding. And they cannot allow us to operate as a local congregation if we do not make the contribution to the annual conference, which then keeps the connection work possible. We can't be allowed to function as a church without the ability to afford the minimum required to keep a pastor. I'm telling you, this is not a competition at all. It is an effort. It is a sacrifice. So that we can be here and continue to do for more than 119 years, continue to do what we are supposed to do for the community. None of what we do here benefits us. We don't share this money, you know. <laughs> It doesn't go home of the pastor. <laughs> all the money you give, all the money we collect, we are trying to do ministry to this community to pay for the bills, for the heat, for the everything that is, is, is needed. And so, my friends, I am so proud of you. You have demonstrated, not just today, but you continue to demonstrate that you love your church and you want to keep your church. Do you know what they do when we fail to do what I just enumerated? The few examples I just gave you. They will take away your pastor. They will send your pastor to a church that is capable. And then they will force you to merge with another church that is also failing. And then they will make you one church. They shrink you. They merge you. Or they can choose to remove an elder from you and they can send a pastor who is not yet fully fledged just to see if you can recover yourself. In other words, you will be de demoted is that the English word? Yeah. You'll be demoted into a, 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 a fully-fledged church into some kind of a surviving congregation. They will remove a full-time church from you and they can give you a quarter church, which means some kind of a preacher will show up for you on a Sunday only. And then they go on their way. And then you struggle and you struggle until the point when they completely sell out your building 
and then they force you out to another congregation that is still surviving. That's what I have seen with my own eyes here in America. That's not what I was used to see in a church in the country where I come from. Every single year in my appointed church, I was producing a new church. And so each year at the annual conference, I would petition with my DS to get a new pastor assigned for this new congregation that I have birthed out of my congregation. There is a growth, a multiplication of numbers and a demand for new pastors to come and help out. Here in America, every year, they are shrinking churches, they are closing down church, and they are selling church buildings to businesses. I never thought that was possible in this world. To sell a church and a pagan business comes to turn the church into a residential money making machine or any other business. That's unbelievable. But I'm telling you, if you continue to fight like you are fighting, continue to stand up like you are standing up, they can do that to any other church. Not to this church. Uh uh. <laughs> Not St. Mark's. They will never touch St. Mark's. It will take a lot of continuous effort, continuous sacrifice. But with God, we're here. With God, all things are what? With God, all things are what? Are possible. Are possible. And so we trust that God will continue to make things possible for us because, you know, we have our children being baptized here. We have our beloved one being brought here for funeral services. We have our children come here to be married here. We have a lot of memories of this church. We will not rest and we will not allow nobody to come here and run their business in this facility. And then we will be passing by Ocean and Beverly Road and pointing to our great grandchildren. That was the church where I was baptized. I was married. That was a church. I was married there. And at that time, it will be an apartment building. Somebody making money out of it. That is the most terrible thing. I saw it happen in the Bronx where I was first before coming here and I could not stop crying. Why is this happening? And it's always on the churches of the minority and the immigrant communities. You see, the, the, these other communities, they are fine because they have all the endowment funds and you know, they own the stock, the stocks and uh, all the Wall Street and they, they, are, they, they have shares there. So when the bishop tells them, we're going to have to shut down your church because you're not paying apportionment, you're not paying insurance, you're not paying your pastor the way you're supposed to, you're not paying for uh, this and that, they go to their investments, they pull the checks, and they cover the bill. If you go on their Sunday service, you'll find six people there. Twelve people at most. If it's a big church, that means 25 people max. But they have the money. So we are many, but we don't have the, the money. Let us keep fighting. Let us do it for the generations to come. I want our little Peyton to baptize his children in this church. I want all the children you see run around and make noise here to come here to be married here and for their children to come here. I want the people in the community to come here to find comfort when they lose somebody. That's what the church is. We are not a business. We are not here to make money. This is not a game of making money. We are here fighting for our community. 
Because we believe in God. And we believe in ourselves. Amen? Amen. Say it like you mean it. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us stand. Let us stand to receive the blessing. Can we, can we make a circle? Let us try to make a circle. Let us make a circle. You will see how many we are. Go to a circle. Circle. Go to a circle. Come here in front and go to the side. Come here in front and go to the side. If you are better off sitting, just remain on your seat. Can you hold your flag? You left your flags? Hold your flags. Hold your flags. Hold your, find your flag. We want to wave and to honor God for all these countries. Honor God for all and every single island, every single nation in the world. Amen. Amen. Just wave your flags. Wave your flags. Yes, wave your flags. Sister Gail, can you push all the way to Sister Da Silva? Yeah, I want to make a circle. Amen. 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 Keep waving your flags. Wave your flags. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Amen. So now let us let us receive the blessing. Father God Almighty, from the morning time all the way to the evening time and all the way to the following morning, we worship you. We recognize you. We bow to you. We acknowledge you. We appreciate you, Lord. We love you. We are thankful to you, O oh God. Thank you indeed for the miracles. You are a miracle worker. We know that when these businesses pass by, they make estimates. They're like one day, this huge facility. We know they can't afford to maintain this church. We know these are just immigrant people. These are just people of color. We know that one day we're going to capture this church. They are busy, oh Lord, making their estimates. They are working on their budgets. They want to buy us out. They want to put us out of the business of the kingdom of God. To make more profits for themselves. They don't want to bring checks to help our cause. They don't want to donate money to help save the church because they are waiting for the church to collapse so they can come and profit out of this space. This is your holy ground, oh God. Your name is associated with this space. Allow the plans of anybody else but you to prosper. Allow, oh God, only your plans to prosper in this space. Allow, O oh God, your kingdom to continue to be proclaimed out, out of this space called St. Mark's. Bless the people. Bless the children. Bless the elderly. Bless the women and men. Bless the young people, O oh God. Part of the reason why the churches are drowning and they are dying is because there is no life. There is no young people. There is no children. There are no teenagers. There are all of those people, but at home, elsewhere, on the nightclubs, there's no space to set foot. The young people are dominant in many other spaces, except for the places where they would find something spiritual, something that would lead their lives and connect their lives with you, O oh God. We pray today, we pray tonight, in the name of Jesus, that this church will be the place where the young people, the teenagers, and the little children, the elderly, the women and men, can be found, can prefer to come to, to spend not only one or two hours in the morning, but from morning to night, staying here. This is a safe sanctuary, a safe space. Bless us, O oh God. As we bless your holy name, 
with our little gifts, with our little praise, with our little worship, and of our little proclamation of your word. Bless us, O oh God, and bless this community so that this church can continue to raise your name higher for everyone to hear. In the name of God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Oh my goodness. Um, Brother George, bring us the announcement. Pastor, could we change the last hymn from to the Jehovah, you are the most high God. Oh, okay. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. That's the, the last hymn we're going to sing before, before we leave. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and lead us on that song. You know, gods of the world are idols. Jehovah is the most high God. I'll see you on Wednesday for the Bible study. Remember, we don't use the old number of the conference call. We use the new number of the Zoom. The Zoom. So, Bible study, 7.30 p.m. Bible study on Wednesday. Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Bible study, Zoom and Facebook Live.